In this Kotlin on Android development tutorial, we're going to learn how to use the navigation drawer to switch between fragments. Welcome to Mobile Application Tutorials. My name is Nigel. Okay, so this tutorial follows on from the previous tutorial where we learned how to switch fragments. So if you haven't done it, I recommend you do that tutorial first. But if you do want to start this tutorial, we do provide the code in GitHub. So you can pull down the code, which gives you the code base to start this tutorial from. And um, members who have bought this plan for $10 or on the professional plan do get a video explaining how to download the code using Android Studio as an additional feature. Okay, so in this tutorial, we're just going to be installing a navigation drawer and using it to switch between our fragments that we created in the previous tutorials. So we'll make a start now. So we'll go into our Android Studio. And we'll pop back out again to the website post because I do need to add a dependency here. So on this site, and you can get uh, access to these website posts by just signing up to the free YouTube membership. You will get prompted there if you haven't signed up on the site itself. So I do need to add a dependency for the support design library because that's going to give us the navigation view the list that we're going to implement in our drawer okay so we need to install that dependency so we'll go back to android studio and go into our build.cradle file i'll just scroll up and i just at the bottom there i will save that and we do need to do a Gradle sync after that. That's now synced. So we want to go into our main um, uh, layout file, which is used by our main activity here. And so what I'm going to do here is make the main layout uh, drawer layout. So just let me tidy up this slightly. So I'm going to replace the constraint layout there, or actually move it down below, but I'll just change the name here first to draw a layout. And the only thing I need to do here is to add an ID and I'm for this, and I'll just call this the draw a layout. Okay. Now down below here, I want to create our constraint layout. And I will make it match parent for both height and width. And I will move our uh, frame layout inside the constraint layout here and we should be able to keep those defaults the same here okay so and we just need to add one more thing here and I'm going to put this underneath the constraint layout which will be our navigation view Okay, so for the width, I'm going to put the wrap content. So it just wraps the content of the list because you'd only want the draw to show part way across the display, not all the way across. And the height, we will make it match parent. And I'll give that an ID. And I think I'm just going to call this navigation drawer, navigation view, so we're clear to what it is and how to access it. I'm going to, we need to add a layout for this as well. This is actually layout gravity. It's not showing up in the IDE, slight bug there. And we'll set that to start. So we just have to position it, the drawer to be starting from the top left hand part of our layout. And I'm also going to add the menu so we can refer to the menu 
which is the same menu we used in the previous tutorial, the fragment menu. And these should be the only changes we need to make to our layout file. Okay, so we'll now move across to the main activity and set up the code for accessing the navigation drawer and replacing our fragments. So main activity and I'm going to add a new f function here and I'll call this set select draw item and it's, we'll call the parameter item and it's going to be of the type menu item The first thing I'll do is create a value here. I'll call that for the fragment, represent our fragment. I tell a lie. We're going to make a variable. So we, um, we're going to set this up initially as a null value so just to support an Android. And then we'll need to change it. So it has to be a variable. So I'll call this variable fragment, which will be a fragment. And it's going to be of the type fragment. Make sure you've got Android support v4. And to support, make it null safe, to support nulls, we need to put the question mark there and initialize it with null. Okay, now I'm going to create a value here for the fragment class. I'll call this fragment class. Now watch what I'm going to do here. It's going to take a when, because the whens are expressions, they hold values. So the when will take the item, item ID, and we'll set, okay, it's giving me a warning, but it's got, that should, warning should go away because I'm going to put an else branch, another code in here. So in here, I want to set a default for our layout. So this time, instead of manually selecting a fragment, we're going to have a fragment switch on if one isn't selected, it's going to be like the default. So it's going to be the first image fragment. Now what I need to do here is reference a Java class. And to do that in Kotlin, you use this notation of class.java so we can actually access that class itself, that class object. Okay. And now we can just implement the west rest of the Kotlin when. And this will be similar to the um, menu IDs, just exact same items that we're selecting there. And again, it's going to be the first image class Java. And I'll do the next for the next menu item, which will be the second fragment item. And this will be the second image fragment. And referencing that Java class. Okay, so we've got all those completed, and I'll just highlight because when it is an expression, it will return a value. So it's going to return basically the um, the uh, uh, fragment class object itself. And we can use that to now initialize our fragment. So we call fragment equals fragment class and then we can get access to our new instance so called fragment class new instance and we are going to need to cast that to a fragment make sure it's android support v4 okay and it's a good idea to put a harness around that try catch harness and we'll just check for our class cast exception Okay, if that's successful, we'll be able to pass that fragment into our replace fragment function from the previous first tutorial, I believe it was, and put in our fragment there. And notice how we're getting our error here. Um, this fragment we're passing in is a null safe fragment. So if we go into replace fragment here, um, we're going to need to make this null safe as well to support nulls. Okay, so we can go back up there and the error's gone away. And the final thing we need to do is just to call our drawer layout. And we'll close the drawer. 
and we're going to pass in a gravity compact here with just the start value and this will close the drawer so after we've loaded a fragment you normally want to close your navigation drawer which is what this line here is doing okay so we've got this here we just need to select that drawer item so if we go into our on create function down here and we select our navigation view we've got a just make sure I've got the right one here we've got a set navigation item selected listener that's the one we want to use there and now we can call our select draw item and and this listener only takes one parameter so we can just call it with it it's like a convenience function there and we also have to return true to the listener in other words we're consuming the listener event so we just put true there okay so that should be the only changes we need to make so the next step is to run this code and see if it works right so the application's now started so I'm just going to swipe from the left hand right so you can now see the drawer open and I select the first item there which is the drawer there and now we we'll select the second item there and it's the drawer there okay and it will default if it can't find anything it will default to this particular one here so we've successfully implemented the drawer and we're switching between fragments with our drawer so that completes the navigation tutorial basically we grabbed a drawer layout and made that the root layout in our main activity layout file we also added a navigation view the list to put into that layout and then we moved, just moved across to the source code added a new function where we could get access to the Java class file through what we call Kotlin reflection and once we had access to the class file it's just a matter of calling our new instance and casting that to a fragment and that allowed us just to switch between the uh, frag the fragments in the drawer layout so this code will be made available in github I do put the details there um, members on the professional plan or have bought this particular plan here for ten dollars will be able to uh, get a video um, explaining how to get the code as well and if you want to get notified of these tutorials on YouTube don't forget to click on that subscribe button and also recommend that you follow me on uh, Twitter and Facebook as well and I'll put my handle up there just so you can follow me on those platforms as well and for any questions please redirect questions to my code mentor account where I do provide paid consultancy as you can imagine I get receive hundreds of thousands of questions so I can only filter it and prioritize those who um, are willing to pay for that particular service anyway thank you for watching this tutorial bye for now